Hey everyone, Morgan here. So I wanted to give you a little tour of the density of a metal lab that you're gonna be doing for Honors Chem. And this is gonna be a virtual lab that you're gonna perform on your own at home. And then you're gonna be talking with some of your classmates to do a little bit of data sharing. So in a web browser, you wanna to go to the Chem Collective dot org chemcollective dot org okay you don't need to make any login or anything like that okay it doesn't require any information to do this now when you get there what you're going to do is you're going to choose virtual labs and after you've chosen virtual labs you're going to go to the first menu here called stoichiometry And then you're going to come down just a few choices and identifying the unknown metal. And there are some introductory videos that are on that little menu that pops up there that you're welcome to watch. And you can spend some time exploring this website, the about information. That's kind of cool. So this is your laboratory bench. Okay. We need to set up and we need to get some tools. So we're going to need a scale, a nice laboratory balance. So I'm going to click on the plus sign, which means add it. And if at any time you make a mistake and you need to start over, just go to edit and clear your workbench and you can get everything cleared off of it. Okay. So I'm going to get myself a laboratory balance under glassware. I'm going to choose a 50 milliliter graduated cylinder. Click back on Stockroom again, and under Solutions, I need to choose a metal. Now, what I want you to do is just whoever is closest to you in the house, ask them to choose number one, number two, or number three. And whichever number they choose, that's going to be the metal that is your choice. Okay? So I'm looking over at my wife right now, and she's holding up three fingers, so I'm going to choose metal number three. Okay. So... Your first step in doing this is finding the mass of the empty graduated cylinder. So I put the cursor on it and I drag it to the balance until I see that nice little green plus show up there. And when I get it on there, I'm going to write down what that number is. And it's 72.6706 grams. Okay. And that's going to show a different number for your cylinder. Don't worry about that. Okay. Now I'm going to take it off. Boom. Now I'm going to take the metal and I'm going to drag it. And you again get that green circle with a little plus sign and it means we're going to add it. And what you do here is you click on this button called hold to pour. And you're going to pour some in. And this, you know, there's no exact amount about how you're going to do it. I'm just going to pour some in. I'm pouring some in. Now I'm going to stop. Okay. Now, this is really crucial. You have to write down the volume at this point. If you close this by hitting that little X before you've written down that volume, you're not going to be able to get that volume again. So this number is definitely between 10 and 20 milliliters. So I'm thinking that this one is going to be, let's see, that's a two, a four, a six, an eight, a 10. So two, four, six. This to me is looking like it's just at 16 milliliters. I think I've got 16.0. Um, you know, maybe it's a 15.9, but... I'm looking at it really close, and I think that's 16.0 milliliters. So I'm going to write down 16.0 milliliters is my volume. I'm recording that right now. Okay. Now, I'm going to clear that. I can put this onto the balance, and now I see a mass again. 
So I'll take the difference between the mass when that cylinder was empty and the mass that it is right now. And that'll tell me the mass of the metal. I'll divide by that volume. And when I've divided by that volume, I will know the metal's density. Now, when I click over there on metal density problem, it tells me that the three possible metals are silver, rhodium, and platinum. And it tells me that their densities are 10.5, 12.4, and 21.45 grams per cubic centimeter, respectively, meaning the 10.5 is the silver, and the 12.4 is the rhodium, and the 21.45 is the platinum. They're in that order. So you're going to be able to identify which of those metals was your choice by the density that you calculated. Okay, now you can clear off your workbench and that's the procedure. Now we're going to go into some breakout rooms, okay, in class and you're going to get data from other people and we're going to talk about consistency in the densities of different samples. Okay, that's all for now. This is Morgan signing off.